Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through, we'll make a big wish that we we'll never have to do this Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet. And we are back at Sanderberger Sea, Germany. Thought today we would go ahead and check out the spots that supposedly you can catch the northern pike at in this particular location. And it seems to be up here where the construction site is, at least that's what I have been told. Now, I have not tested it, so we're going in here fresh, checking this out for the first time. Looks like we got few people on today not too many now we're gonna go ahead and take our inflatable fishing boat here may have to turn that off so we can see a little bit more now if one understand we got ahead straight over here by these cranes not actually sure which crane it is I just know it's close to the cranes now I'm gonna be looking for some reeds it should be over here for me to fish yeah there it is apparently there's like a point Right there, that we need to fish at. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put anchor down here. I think that's what they're talking about. There's also a boat over there. Sometimes you can catch fish real well near boats. Sometimes, we'll see. But it is really not the peak time, which for the pike, that is really important. We're going to need to advance time a little bit, plus it's going to help their visibility a little bit. So let's go ahead and see if we can advance time to about maybe 2 p.m. There we go. It's a cloudy day, so we don't have a whole bunch of light. I am going to throw out some bottom rods, but I'm going to have to get them a little bit better geared up because right now I still have them geared up from our last episode with the bream. I had somebody asking me how I got the rod holders on this particular boat. Well it's only in the Fisherman Fishing Planet. The Fishing Planet Classic does not have rod holders on the boats. Something I wish they would change. Because that would allow us to troll a lot more readily. Now I'm going to put a four-aught hook on here. That's a nice round size. Ground bait isn't going to do us any good. We'll do the large minnows. Too heavy. We'll try shiners then. Still too heavy. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's probably that thing. So we'll put a regular sinker on there. Let's try four and a half. Yeah, we're gonna lose our ground bait, but not after those other guys this time. Let's try the sinker on here too. Four odd hook. And let's see what should I'm thinking about either crayfish. Yeah, let's go with no, let's go with large minnows. Let's do the large minnows. And we need we can't use this particular rod, but we only have two rod holders anyway, so that's not a big deal. So one rod holder. I actually need to get back in the boat here a little bit and turn this thing around. The rod holders are out the back and it's going to be a little bit hard to 
to get this thing going here. Let's. There we go. Probably needed to go out a little ways anyway. There we go. That's better. And we'll throw out. Now this is my understanding. They're supposed to be right around here. All around here, right up, mostly in this area here. Not sure if that's still the case, but we're going to give it a try. We can still do some lure fishing because still have a hand free. Let's see. Yeah, we are going to definitely need a titanium leader for this. 32, that should be more than enough to handle these guys. And I think this, well, the slimy crank should work. The major popper should do all right. A frog popper should do all right because we are going to start with one of the crank baits but one of the shallower ones maybe the eight foot that might be the best to try and the blue should stand out pretty well on a cloudy day if that doesn't work we can always go with the tiger spoon which seems to always be popular we've got number of different types of poppers yeah see it's just about the right depth we want it somewhere in the middle ah it looks like I'm getting a bite over there something's gone after it all right let's try it ah yes yes indeed we got something here Large minnows. What do we got here? Yep, there you go. Northern pike. They are here. Without a doubt. Well, let me mark that last spot because that will. Why is it vibrating so bad? Oh, shoot. <laughs> that's what it was got another one yeah it's, it's my understanding there are unique ones here there's a trophy not bad 1296. So we're going to toss that in the same general vicinity. Yeah, they usually go for those large minnows pretty readily, so. Oh, we got another one on the bottom rod there. Another northern pike, regular sized. Yeah, I'm not sure if cloudy days are the best days for these guys or not, but we've got another one on the second rod. Damn. Okay, this guy is a little bit bigger than the last. Let's see what we got here, guys. Yeah, a little bigger, not quite as... Oh, are you kidding me? I am out of large minnows. Not cool. Not cool at all. We got here. 
see if the bait shop has any. Oh, I don't think they have any here. Damn it. That's not cool. Well, we're going to have to use minnows. I mean, shiners. We got 44 of those, so we should be alright. We got small minnows if we really have to break down. Well, I got something. It's not very big, though. Probably a perch. No, it's a young northern pike, but he did go for that bullfrog popper. So that is a good sign. Right in the middle of those reeds, and we don't have to worry about getting snags with this one. There we go. Got that off the buzz bait. I think it might be a young one, though. No, it's regular size. Buzz bait. White with a red tail. Stop and go. Ah, there we go. First one. And I think we just have us a regular one this time. Yep. Seem to come in pairs. It's like if one gets... We get one on one, we get one on the other. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Yep, looks like we've got one on number two. Decided to go ahead and do some flow fishing. I'm not seeming to get anything much off the lure fishing at this time, and it may be because the, it is a cloudy day. See, now we got one on the first one. And I think we might have something on our float rod, too. Yep, that thing is going. There's another trophy. Let me go ahead and grab this one, see if there's something. Yeah, something definitely has it. <laughs> All at once. That's the way it usually works. Yeah, they just were not going off, going for the lures for some reason. They are definitely biting over here, though. Bottom rods and float rods. got it right at that marker and that's where we had the last one bite so they're definitely still in the same general area there was a bit of a lull for a while but they did start biting again There's another one biting. Second rod. Yeah, there haven't been any real, what I would call monsters, but they seem to be pretty consistent because I just, holy crap, check that out. The 
biting here has been pretty consistent. Well guys, I am not getting any more bites here at the moment. Let me see what the peak looks like. Yep. It's starting to fall out of the peak period. I've definitely been in areas that have a lot more bites for the northern pike. But then again, it seems like it's always cloudy here. <laughs> Every time I come on this map, it seems like it's cloudy. I'd like to try this on a time when it's sunny or partly cloudy. See what the fishing, or how the fishing is affected then. Well, let me take a look at the main screen here and see what the weather for the next few days are going to be like. Let's see. Let's see, the next day is going to be sunny. So here's a really huge peak in the beginning of the day and a really large one at the end. I'm trying to decide whether I should fast forward time, give it another shot here, and might be worthwhile. We didn't do bad. That's eleven thousand cash just off of the Northern Pike alone. It's really good, actually. Alright, this should be the peak time. Sometimes weather makes all the difference, guys. Definitely getting a lot of blipping going on. Look at that. guys are going nuts down there. Look, almost instantly. First one already. Yeah, sometimes you just got to play the weather. See how the float fishing does here. At least you can see the bobber a lot easier. <laughs> now, I'm not sure, but something is, yep, something is biting on both of them. That one too, yep. There's a trophy. And we gotta grab both of these rods. We got one on each rod here. Oh, damn! Are you kidding me? Well, that probably was our unique. <laughs> okay, we got this one, though. Oh, and he's big. He's good size. Definitely a good size fish. At least a trophy. Not a unique, but a very large trophy. Take a look at this guy. Yeah, that's that's a good one. That's almost 2,000 cash just for this one guy. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think what happened is when I started the recorder, sometimes... See, the problem is my recording button is also the button that increases the tension <laughs> on my rod. So sometimes I forget and don't notice that I've increased the tension on my rod and then it's all the way up and gets snapped. I think I've got something... Well, yep, I think I do. I've got something chasing him. Yep. There he goes. That's just a regular sized northern pike. I'm sure the left rod was moving around a little bit, but I think it's quit now. Okay, we're getting out of the bite here. Wasn't sure. That fish has been swimming all over the place. There he goes. Okay. Yeah, this one's not very big. This might be a young one. No, just, just a regular one. And I've got one on number two. Well, we might have lost that unique. I th I'm almost sure that would had to be a unique to have broken a 32 pound lead <laughs> leader. That's frustrating. <laughs> Not much you can do about it. It happens. Sometime the fish wins. Okay, he's moving a little more now. Something is after him. Come on. It doesn't matter. We've got one on the other one. And now he's ha he has come back on the other one too. So it's a good sign. There he goes. Now we got to grab this one quick. Before we lose him. Okay, he's not as big as I had hoped. Yep, he's a little fella, but he's been tormenting that shiner for quite a while. I really think things would have been a little bit different if we'd been able to have more of those large minnows, but unfortunately the the uh, tackle place here does not stock them. We'd have to go back to the global map to get them, I guess. But we may end up having to do that, so I am determined to get a unique. We did get quite a few trophies. Let's see how many we did get. Now, I got a couple the day before, too, but I got two just on this day alone. And we still haven't hit the last peak, but this episode's getting a little long and the peak is coming to an end because they are very short on sunny days. I've not really seen a partly cloudy day. Maybe they've got one 
Yeah, see, a part of the cloudy day is altogether different. It's really good fishing in the morning, and it's moderate fishing all day long, and then really good fishing at night. So that's probably the best day to fish, or best time, type of weather. That's what it says. This kind of weather is great for fishing all day long. But that's not until day eight. <laughs> so we'd have to stay here a little while. But I think if maybe we come back on another episode and try it again with the shiners, I think we might get them in the evening. And if we could hang out long enough to make it to a partly cloudy day, I think we might do a little better then. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of The Fisherman Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.